Welcome to Troy, Alabama for ESPN College Football coverage of number 22, Boise State, on the road at Troy. Two defending conference champions in a rematch of a game played on the blue a year ago. Touchdown returns a season ago. Weather conditions are gorgeous. Thank you for joining us. And Marcus Jones has it. Jones with a little bit of a seam, but couldn't even get all. First time we've seen Alexander Mattis with a fine running back, and you see him. Rippin, shoulder fake, gonna go for it all for the end zone right now. Is that a good touchdown? Boise, monster, got the foot down. Hit, and then you're clear and ready to go. Quickly, hole pops up here. Five, touchdown, Troy. Jabir, free thing in this opening quarter between these two teams. Rippin. And Madison making a couple guys miss, gets to the outside, protects the ball well, now taking on the Trojans' defense. Has time, ripping over the middle, caught! This is going to be six for six! C.T. Thomas with a touchdown for Boise State. ...making and why he won the job over Sawyer Smith. Boy, that, that's intercepted! That was made by DeAndre Pierce. He interfered with that play legally, I might add, and Tony Lashley... The transfer from I Madison. Touchdown, Boise. And the uh, welcome C.T. Thomas to the Brett Rippon Show. That's what it's been so far. He might take a deep shot right here. He goes deep down the field. And that's going to be caught around the 35-yard line. Another big catch for Sean Monster. Empty set for Rippon on third and two. It's a first down. A wide open that time. An easy play for Richardson. It was Rippon hit after he throws. What a dart! Touchdown! Butler! Wow, what a throw that was because Rippon had no time. He got hit a blink of an eye after he threw it. Game midway through the fourth quarter last season. Rippon. Again, getting a lot of time to throw deep. He's got it. What a throw. Touchdown, Monster. Four touchdown passes for Brett Rippon in this half. And again, Brett Rippon with excellent protection. Nobody's on him. He can step up into the throw, and he launches that one, and that's perfect. I mean, you, <laughs> you couldn't have handed it to him any better. And a roll right this time, and he's going to hang on to it. He's going to have a first down slide safe. The ball in the second half, and I think that's going to end up being a big part of their offense. Look out. A ball loose. It's in the hands of Tyler Horton. Horton has one man to beat. The 25, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Boise State. Sit on the throne, and, and Nawahine will wait his turn. There's the pop. The ball comes out. Smith didn't protect it. Uh, lands in Horton's hands and then it's a foot race to the end and he's able to get past Willis to the promised land on the goal line 335 in there to block he gets his block off Smith gets off of that block and into the end zone for BJ Smith back and the handoff here oh sweet little move in the hole and Madison will get a first down Barely got that off in time. On fourth down, pressure. Going for it all right here. And it's caught. Touchdown, Troy. Did shoulder it all with it. Uh, I've been impressed. There's a, a bright future for him, I believe. Except on this play. The fumble is loose. It's Horton right. again. He scored twice in this half. Kinging. Got them on, and they're like, who's that kid killing everybody in dodgeball? And sure enough, he ended up being one heck of a quarterback, and here he goes. Well, how about this? College football is welcoming Chase Cord. Touchdown, Boise. Their first offensive touchdown of this half. Rippin finishes with 305 yards passing and four touchdowns. Chase Cord will end the ball game by handing the ball to the center judge, and for the second straight year, Boise State has defeated Troy in a vastly different game this time in Troy than it was in Idaho. Yeah, I think both these teams are, are going to show well down the road. I think Troy has a lot to work on, but I think they've got some good things and they will be competitive in the Sun Belt and Boise in the mountain. Uh, 
they're the odds-on favorite. Well, they're gonna their their season may rest on a trip to Stillwater. Well, right. that's gonna be in a couple of weeks. They're heading home though to play the next game and to do a little celebrating here. What a